Hey folks, how we doing today? It's me again, Shannon Fox here at the World of Patriots 2 channel, and I've got several lots of news for you. i got a few video clips here for you of Joe Biden, some of the things he said over the last several years, including a 40-year-old clip I found. I'm talking about a nugget. Some of the things that um, he probably shouldn't have said while being filmed. And we have got lots of uh, experience with Joe Biden saying things on camera that uh, basically point him out as being the criminal that he is. I'm talking about that Burisma video. Uh, going to get the guy fired over the billion bucks. He said several things that uh, just make him the right, not the right man for the job. And I've even got a clip for you here at the end, if you stick around, folks, about who Biden prefer to vote for. All good stuff, folks. Check it out. Here we go. For anybody who had tough time with their business during the pandemic, I was running for office at the time, but you all may remember that uh, I had a big fight with uh, the former president uh, and maybe future president. You've heard me say it before, but my dad used to have an expression, I swear to God. He'd say, Joey, a job's about a lot more than a paycheck, for real. It's about a lot more than a paycheck. It's about your dignity. It's about respect. It's about being able to look your kid in the eye and say, and it's going to be okay and mean it when you say it. And he was right. And I'm determined to make that a reality for every family in this country. Obviously, I think for the audience, Kara, and I think for most people, this makes sense. But we've been deluged with negative talk. And yet even ABC is coming, you know, they have the interviews. In one case, a 19-year-old student saying, well, Trump might be a bad guy, but he knew what he was doing. I'm paraphrasing here. <laughs> and a woman who knows it and hates, thinks all politicians are crooks and criminals, and that Trump was trying to bribe people, variety of things. But at least he got things done. Isn't that what <laughs> we're facing? Fact, yeah, absolutely. And he I got think people done. are not ignoring the evidence of their eyes and their ears right now. No. We have this palpable feeling here that the world is on fire. And Biden campaigned on, you know, restoring decency to uh, the White House and restoring the soul of the nation. Again, paraphrasing here, but this is what was coming out of the Twitter account during the campaign in 2020. And yet the proof is in the pudding. Here's a couple more clips for you that I thought uh, needed to be brought to light. We're talking about an uh, old clip of Joe Biden saying, um, how do you know I'm not a crook? And so much worse. Biden, I think Joe Biden will not bow out of this race for the fact of the matter he's afraid that him and his son will go to jail without his presidential immunity crap. But at any rate, let's watch a couple more incriminating bit videos of Joe Biden. This first one here is a 40-year-old take of Joe Biden talking about his corruption. This one actually ought to be shared out there to everyone that would support this clown at this point in time. After we've seen what we've seen and heard what we've heard and know what we know involving him, his son, his family, the corruption, and just the words coming out of his dementia-ridden mouth. Guess what? You may remember I was running for office at the time, but you all may remember it. I told when I ran for president, I'd, I told you I'd have your back. And I have. You know, there are a lot of politicians in this country. It's nice to have you here as the youngest member of the Senate, the one, therefore, who may expect the longest career there. I wonder if you'd say to us, <laughs> since it's clear that you're not corrupt and you got elected, why should people think that the system produces corrupt results when there you are? Well, I'm not sure you should assume I'm not corrupt, but it's, I'm, thank you for that, though. The system does produce corruption, and in, in, I think implicit in the system is corruption, when in fact, whether or not you can run for public office, and it costs a great deal of money to run for the United States Senate, even for a small state like Delaware, uh, you have to go to those people who have money, and they always want something. We were told that we politicians, as the young kids say, rip off the American public. I think the American public, in a way, rips off we politicians by forcing us to run the way they do. To raise $300,000 is no mean feat. And unless you happen to be some sort of anomaly, like myself, being a 29-year-old candidate and can attract some attention beyond your own state, it's very difficult to raise that money from a large group of people. I'm a 29-year-old oddball. The only reason I was able to raise the money is I was able to have a national constituency to run for office. Because I was 29, I'm like the token black or the token woman. I was the token young person. I went to the big guys for the money. I was ready to prostitute myself in the, man in the manner in which I talk about it. But what happened was they said, come back when you're 40, son. Joe to run for public office is to go to vested interest groups. Then, in fact, you're put in the position 
that you have to begin to wonder whether or not you prostitute the ideas that you have about government in order to get the money to begin to run. And again, and I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had, they were walking out to the press conference, said, no, nah, I said, I'm not going to, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, well, son of a <laughs> got fired. And turn, turn this primary from a campaign that's about negative attacks into one about what we're for, because we cannot get reelect. We cannot win this re-election. Excuse me, we can only re-elect Donald Trump. <laughs> and